Ali Whitaker in the commentary box, joined today by uh, Rob Lee and Tony Johnston, who played the 2001 World Cup here, a place you know well, Tony. I certainly do. And it's actually in just as fine a condition as I ever remember it being. Oh, my goodness, what a shot. Dead on line. Best though from 114 yards, there's a backstop just beyond this pin, which you can use. So pitch it long, pitch it, spin it back. Good Get call. It. Good oh. call, NC. Beauty, Rob. Rafa Cabrera Bayo. Sweet swinging Rafa. Three under par. And second to the first. Is very good. Day about to get better, I fancy. Give it a six in the meantime with uh, Nagano. He's in that group in a share of fourth place for now at minus five. First green, Yannick Paul, 65 on day one. This is to start with a bang on Friday. Give it a chance. Oh, pick it out with feeling, by the way. The one with Soderberg. Oh, yes. Just rolling them in from everywhere on the screen. Yannick Paul. His own individualistic golf swing. But he knows it, he trusts it, and it repeats. Soderberg. I think he's back, Tony. Mm, ooh, I know he's back now. Oh, what a beauty. For birdie. At two, Yannick Paul. And uh, he joins Tom Vaillant at minus seven. Down to two with Soderberg. Well, they're pouring them in, this group, and just making it look very straightforward and easy. Two hundred and ninety yards all uphill, a little bit into the breeze, if anything. Oh, he's a big boy. What a shot. He's a lot longer than you think, Yannick Paul. He's, he's a bit kind of wiry and awkward, but he can send it. Yeah, Soderbergh's already chipped up. I wish he putted it, though. Now, Yannick Paul with the eagle putt right to left at the end. Oh, still a try. It's going to be a three birdie start for Yannick Paul. Veyon, after leaving his approach putt this far away. Oh, well done, well done. Nice way to top off two very good days. Good birdie chance at three. Can he get to seven under? Yes, he can. And there's a little bit of a back slope behind the hole, but as you guys saw in the previous green, the greens have really firmed up. There's not a lot of spin back in them right now. That's pretty sweet. Iron off the tee in a cracking second. So he can be a little bit more aggressive, whereas the other two had to be defensive. Beautiful. He's back. Oh, how about that? Willowy, wiry strength. Oh, and easily enough power to get there. What a beauty. Over to McKibben. Little left to right. No trouble. 
Fabulous eagle. Up ahead at the green, Cabrera Bayo. In search for a dash of red from about 30 feet. <laughs> Nothing but net. From this range. Hello. Oh, just beautifully played. Sugiura, down at the par three, up on height, good 15, 18 pieces, uh, paces above the green man, nearly knocked out the flag stick there. Seems to have struggled a little with the pace. Today is probably sad, but not there. Perfect. Yeah, well deserved too. Six under. Enigmatic Hao Tong Lee, who's piling along at minus five. Here at four, cracker. That's just about the best shot we've seen in there. What a beauty. It's almost looking like he's finding a little consistency. Tiro, the only one of the group to find the fairway. Good swing, good pass at it. Let's jump over to Shimizu at 14. His second on the way. Gorgeous. Oh, what control. Like we said, this to get within one of Sam Besto. Hopefully a pattern he breaks to McKibben. Right to left down the hill at eight. <laughs> to Sugiyura at seven. We know it's quick. He knows it's in. It was all over it. Another one for Yannick Paul. They come in clutches for him. Crackerjack. McKibben. Desperately to get to seven under and within three of the lead and does. What a nice hole to birdie that is. Just a three-quarter swing. Low spinner. Oh, beauty. To get within one. Soderberg. Is it contact? Get in. It's not missing. And then there were three. He joins Besto and Yannick Paul at minus ten. So Yura, second into fourteen, and not too much spin, just a little. Just a little beautifully played. The shot where you just wrap it around, get it chasing, hooking a little bit right to left, but you'd hit too far, be blocked out for the next. I think. Having a chat with it. 
Ah, oh, what a shot. Shot of the day, I would say, that one with a hybrid shot of the day. Millimetres away from the outright lead. Like you say, the third shot nearly deserved it to drop. Nonetheless, it's a matching 65 to that of yesterday for Yannick Paul. Well, this would be for a round of 62 for Taihei Sato. And he's gone and done it. Mm. It is preferred lies, so it doesn't go down as a course record, but it is technically the best score that we've seen uh, in tournament play around this layout. Very fine work, and he's earned himself well and truly a share of the lead after that. Well done. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.